Hello, welcome to Nigeria Super Fans Forum. My name is Olua Femi Ashaolu. Uh, last Thursday, Super Eagles defensive midfielder Wilfred Onyeindi injured his knee while playing for Leicester City in the UEFA Europa League. And while Nigeria uh, was waiting for a miracle, the club confirmed that Ndidi will be out for weeks. As a matter of fact, the coach of the team, I'm talking about Brendan Rodgers, has said Ndidi might possibly likely uh, be out for the rest of the season. And of course, the Super Eagles and Lars Augustine Ogavon, Yanumani Amaneke, they've put heads together and they've decided to call up um, uh, Innocent Bonke, the Laurent Nifida, as replacement for Ndidi. As we continue to look forward to the first leg of the Qatar 2022 World Cup playoff clash between Nigeria and the Blasters of Ghana. That game is just a few days away. Kado Gundari is in the studio and today we'll be looking at um, the implication of Ndidi's injury for the Super Eagles as well as how good is um, Innocent Bonke. Now the Super Eagles are left with just Bonke and the uh, Brentford midfielder Frank Onyeka as defensive midfielders. Kade Ogunari, welcome once again. Thank you. I hope you're getting ready for uh, the game against Ghana and Kumasi. <laughs> Everybody's getting ready. Everybody's getting ready. The fans, the players, the officials, everybody, the whole world is getting ready for the game. Okay, but it wasn't good news for Nigeria when uh, the news that uh, Wilfred Dunyendi has injured his knee um, came through. And um, there are a lot of reactions. We were hoping that... Um, yeah, it would just be maybe out for a few days, but now Brenda Rogers is saying that uh, he might likely be out for the rest of the season. And Iguavon has called up uh, Innocent Bonke, the Remy Fida, who, is, who joined the club uh, very recently from uh, FC Mamo. Now, let's look at it, uh, Coyote. Can we really have a good replacement for NDD, especially going to a Titanic clash uh, uh, with the Blasters of Ghana? Well, uh as good as Ndidi is, and he's very, very good, no doubt about mm -hmm. it. But there's nobody who is not replaceable. First name on the roster for me will be Ndidi. But if he's not available, it's not available. We have to, we cannot cry over spilled milk. I like the, the dispatch with which uh, the coaching crew called up a replacement for him. Mm -hmm. The moment they knew he wasn't going to be available. Mm -hmm. So now, like you rightly said, it is for us to look at the quality of the replacement. Is he able to step into Indidi's shoes? Nobody will be indeed. Indeed, is always indeed. Mm. Anybody who is coming will have, will have to come with his own game. We have to judge that person on his merit. Mm -hmm. We are not going to judge him by Indidi's standards. So now the question you have asked is whether <laughs> he is good enough. A lot of Nigerians do not know Bonke. In fact, the name sounded German. Of course, because yeah, it reminds me of the yeah, of the late yeah, evangelist yeah, Nare at Bonke. Even for his uh, for his black skin, <laughs> a lot of people will have thought you'll have thought he's a white man. You think, you think he's a German? Yeah, but he is flesh and blood Nigerian, and incidentally, he grew up here. He has shown in the few games he has played. I think he caught my eye when he played against this. Uh, Cape Verde in the, in the, the, the qualifiers, in the, in the group stages of the qualifiers. The last one. It caught my eye because in the middle, in the, it was not available. That was when the English based player, the England based players were not available. So he came in the same way in the, it was not available. He came in, mm -hmm. and on that occasion, he paired with Kingsley Michael from Sweden. Yeah. And they had a very, very perfect understanding. You would not believe that these guys were probably playing together for the first time. The coordination, the, the, the communication, the, the telepathy between them and the, and the attack was just out of this world. And it, it underlines the, 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 the quality in, the, in, 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 the, in this squad, the, the, the quality of Nigerian players all over. It shows that some people are sitting and blocking some other people's uh, uh, rise to a uh, chance to shine. Hopefully we get into the park as soon as possible because he's still young. Like I told him in 2016, and I know he will remember this, I said, you are a future Super Eagles captain. captain. And nothing has happened in the last six years to make me change my mind. Take, take it from me, and he's going to be captain of the Super Eagles one day. So we are going to have him for a long time to come. Unfortunately, he's not going to be available for this crucial one games. This crucial game, one of the most important games mm -hmm. we are going to play in 2022. Be that as it may, the show must go on. Uh, uh, even if it is not available, Bonke is available. But like I said, Bonke's uh, quality is not in doubt. He is a very good replacement for him. Okay, but you just highlighted the qualities of, um, of uh, Innocent Bonke. But let's look at the quality of opposition. He played against the Cape Verde away, which we won 2-1. Yes. But now let's look at uh, this, this uh, sort of rivalry between the Super Eagles of Nigeria and the Black Stars of Ghana. 
it's usual, it, 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 might, it might be a little difficult for players. One, Bonke hasn't, hasn't played since then for the Super Eagles. For the Super Eagles. Then two, coming into this kind of atmosphere, you know, against um, a, a, a long time arc rival, for, do you think he will be able to fit in if Iguavon decides to give him a nod ahead of Franco Yeka? Uh, honestly, everybody, mm. not even him alone, who know, knows that the magnitude of this game. I understand where you're coming from, Femi. Ghana is not, uh, as we say, in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I understand the anxiety, the stage fright will be there, no matter how established mm -hmm. you are. The stage, stage uh, being thrown into a game of this magnitude, especially when you are a late replacement for somebody else. If you had been in the team from the get go, the, you will have prepared his mind psychologically. Yeah. And now that you have just been brought on, on if he gets to play, and that's a big if, hmm. that's a big if, if he gets to play, uh, I expect him to make mistakes. But I expect hmm. him to also correct those mistakes because he is a professional. He plays regularly at his club and uh, he has had very good reviews at the club. A lot of Nigerians will not want to hear that. I expect, I expect him to make mistakes. Of course, mistakes. Are, see, Femi, these are some of the things that you guys are not willing to, order, to, to accept. Mistakes are part of the game. The same way injuries are part of football. Okay, before last weekend, <laughs> nobody, nobody wished an injury on NDD. But mm. yeah, it happened. Life must go on. The same way mistakes will be made. You know, the very funny thing, goals are made because, uh, goals are scored because, because mistakes, mistakes. are made. Mm -hmm. So if, if, if both teams play a perfect game, then the, every game will end in a 0-0 draw. But the fact is, mistakes must be made for a team to score. I have just added a caveat that I hope the mistake will not cost us and that he's able to correct himself and have, and have a good game. But that not only him, I'm expecting everybody, mm -hmm. even on both sides, mm -hmm. to make mistakes. Mistakes will be made by uh, goalkeepers, by defenders, by attackers, by midfielders. But I just hope the team that makes the fewest mistakes and seizes <laughs> its opportunities the yeah. most will carry the day. So hopefully, if he gets to play, my heart goes out to Innocent Bonke mm -hmm. because hey, this nobody wants to be in this kind in of situation. situation. Being thrown into the cauldron, burning, mm -hmm. burning fire like that at that and fit into that someone point. else's shoes and perfectly. Okay, especially when we are when we expect him to be in the mm -hmm. it's a tough task. Yeah. So, but I I pray I hope no not pray I hope he's able to rise up to the occasion. Okay. Um, he's played seven games for. Um, for Laurent now, including just this weekend, the new new home game against Strasbourg. Out of the seven games, he's been carded four times. Sh should that be some sort of worry for us? Because this is kind of it is a kind of game where you need to be as careful as you are. Remember, we have a, a red one. It's going to be at the same time a card happy referee, and there's going to be a VAR. So every tackle will be scrutinized. Should that be some sort of worry for Augustine Gavon? If, like you said, if the yes. big if now, if um, yes. Bonke will be picked ahead of uh, Onyeka? To be honest with you, it should be. And if the, the, the technical crew have the kind of information we have about his card, card records, they should be on him, telling him to take things easy. And don't forget that he would be eager to impress. Hmm. And in the eagerness, in, in the trying to do that, in trying to impress the coaching crew because he knows that this is a lifetime, the once in a lifetime opportunity, he wants to impress hmm. and possibly get into unnecessary tackles that could cost him a, a card. Because don't forget, the center referee we have is somebody who, who doesn't spare cards, he uses them as, he, as if they are going <laughs> of fashion. So, I expect the coaching crew to be on him, psych him up, tell him that you can do this without necessarily collecting cards. Hmm. So that's I hope they are able to do. But that and the mo the, fun, the, 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 the 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 scary thing is the moment a player gets a card, a player who is anxious gets a card, it reduces his effectiveness hmm. because he's afraid of getting the second one. Going into so tackles, he will be, he will be yeah. afraid he will be scared of getting into tackles again, doing what he should have ordinarily done. So that's why they should be very very careful hmm. about when to play him. Where to play him? Hmm. Those are very key. When and where? Hmm. The, the, the coaching group must be very, very careful. But like I said, nothing takes away from. We are not going to take anything away from the quality that Innocent Bonke has 
tall, athletic, very, very with a sharp eye. I think he's one is a player for is one for the future too. Hmm. So Kyle Dogundari uh, is saying that uh, any player that is called up to the Super Eagles has the quality to replace and whoever. So please, whoever uh, is out, we'll go on this very, very, we'll be about to talk about Frank Oyeka, what he is going to bring to the table if uh, uh, he's given the nod to start ahead of uh, Innocent Bonke. Please stay with us. Yeah, welcome back. It's still Nigeria Super Fans Forum. Now we've been looking at the absence of um, Wilfred Ndidi and the called up replacement for him, that is Innocent Bonke. Carl Dogunari has been enlightening his quality uh, that um, the, the Super Eagles might likely enjoy in the two-legged affair against the Black Stars of Ghana. And now, Carl, let's talk about Frank Onyeka. Um, he was at the AFCON, but he didn't get much uh, time to impress. Um, he started the season well for Brentford since he joined, and um, but recently he's been uh, there's been scarcity of games for him. <clears throat> now, would you say okay since he's more used to the team? Um, should Iguavon uh, perhaps give him a nod ahead of uh, Innocent Bonke? Uh, seriously, <laughs> that, that's a possibility because uh, this is somebody you know mm. who has played under you and compared to an Innocent Bonke that, uh, Bonke that is just coming, who wasn't even in the initial consideration. Mm -hmm. So the temptation is to want to give Frank Oeka the nod ahead of Bonke. But then when you now consider the play time, the, the playing time they have had in their uh, respective clubs, mm -hmm. to think uh, Innocent Bonke has played more than, uh, than, uh, than Onyeka. But then, to counterbalance that, you look at the fact that this is a player who is in the Premier League mm -hmm. compared to somebody who is in from, Ligue 1. Uh, from, from, Ligue. from Swedish League now to Ligue 1. That probably the quality is, is, a, quality is a step ahead uh, above each other. Mm -hmm. But uh, I would take whoever the coach is. They have a, interestingly, they have a very short window span to check these players out. Hmm. It would have been better if we had like a week or two. But luckily again, that applies to both teams. Of course. So, it left for me, I would play an, a Frank Oyenka ahead of Innocent Bonke. Maybe sometimes after the game has gone on for a while, I could be thinking of bringing him in, uh, in, Innocent, in, in, in Innocent Bonke. Bonke. If we need him. But A, uh, uh, Frank Oyenka is a scrambler. He's, he's, he, he can start. A, he can start a fight in an empty room. He, <laughs> he puts his heart into the game. Mm. Not seen the best of they call him the tank yes. in Brentford yes. because of the energy he zooms on the pitch. Mm -hmm. So that's who I expect us to see. Uh, I, I, incidentally, ahead of both of them, I would have chosen a, a, an a table going a carol bet because of the long injury layer. Yeah, yeah he's still, still struggling for fitness. For fitness, even though he's in the squad. Yeah, but a I would take. I Frank Oyeka ahead of Innocent Bonke. Mm. As a matter of fact, that was why I didn't even mention uh, Etebo in the first place because, well, of course, we all know what is happening to him right there at uh, Watford. Okay, Cardi, let's let's look at Ghana now. They've, they've also had a couple of uh, bad news, so to say. Jordan Ayu is out now. The uh, the older brother, Andre Ayu, is also due to Oyeka. suspension. Yeah, news came in that uh, Jordan Ayu uh, contracted COVID, so he will be missing. Uh, that game against the Super Eagles of Nigeria, both legs as a matter of fact. How much of a blow is that for the Black Stars? Oh, actually, it's a big, big blow, bed. and that's one of the one one of the the funny side of life. That if a player is going to miss a game, he should be out because of injury or because of a tablet, <laughs> not because of things like COVID. COVID, COVID is, is 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 a is a, is a one off thing that nobody prays for. I hope I I pray for for him to to quickly recover from from COVID, but it's going to be a big miss because already. The, the 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 Ghanaians have a they have a problem with their forward line and it's a player that he mm. might not get too many goals but you can be sure Contrib that for mm. 90, 90 minutes plus at that time yeah he will be uh, he will uh, be around yeah. around your box disturbing your 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 defense line defenders. so it's, it's it's a big blow it's a big blow but hey the show must go on Ghana must play and they will have people to replace him and for Jordan you a lot of Ghanaians have been asking what is it with Jordan and COVID that, that this is the second time we contracting COVID in 2020 it was also uh, he also contracted no, COVID no, no, no. <laughs> he, he, he didn't choose to contract COVID it, it's just something that happens just like the players were going to miss uh, out of injury did not plan to be injured mm -hmm. so it's one of those things that, that happened that happen to us in the course of living as human beings mm -hmm. and like i said my heart goes out to, to the young man i i had hoped it would be available, available because 
I don't forget one thing I've always told you, Femi. I want the best players on both sides to play. So there will be no ex no no, 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 no excuses. Excuses. I want the world to see the kind of talent that Nigeria and Ghana have. So let us have this fight to finish over two legs and decide this. Who wins? Then possibly that will also solve some other side <laughs> who, 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 who makes the better to love? I was going to say that. <laughs> and who parades the best uh, artist? Yes, the best, the, be the better artist, the, the, the best the better loves, and maybe the most beautiful girls. Oh, Carl, you are going, you are, you are going a higher dimension now. But I'm sure you've eaten Ghana to love. Yeah, but but yeah. Be, be truthful. Before I go to, of course, another important uh, Ghanaian player is out of that tie, or is doubtful for that tie. But Kyle, uh, let me put you on the spot. You've eaten Ghana jollof. You've yes, eaten I Nigerian have. jollof. Yes, I have. See, be, 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 be truthful, be factual, be objective. That is the, those are the core values of journalism. Yes, it is. So yes. which I, country... Thank which, you for the, bla for the bla subtle blackmail. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just wanted you to say the truth as much as possible. Okay, which country now? Nigeria, Ghana. Which one has the best job love. I will take our job love. Nigerian job love. Nigerian job love. Bet, let me put it bet. A lot of Nigerians will have called for your No, no, today, no. Friday. I will take Nigerian job love. In terms of snacks and uh, all these uh, pastries, I think they are, my, they are miles ahead of me. We are not fans of pastries and snacks. But yeah, I am. Job love, job love I is am. Job love is the main thing. I am. Job love <laughs> is the main thing. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go to um, uh, another uh, place now. Antoine uh, Semenyo. The coach has confirmed that uh, he will likely miss... Um, the two legs against the Super Eagles. So he plays for Bristol City yes. in the Championship in England. And the coach, Nigel Parson, is saying that he's right now furious with himself. The young man is, is energetic and with a wonderful pace. But he's saying that, the coach is saying that he's right now furious with himself because of injury. Kyle Day. Well, it seems things are not going according to plans for for Ghana. Again, it buttresses the, for, the fact I made the point I made earlier that that there will be eventualities the, that yes, you don't have it, control it, over. You cannot control some things, and this is one of them. You cannot control who gets injured. You can only hmm. hope that the injury list will be will, will be minimal, so that you have at least a decent team to put out there. Ghana have not been too fortunate in the striking department where they they've been lacking anyway. Hmm. Now they have a Jordan Ayew out. They have Andre Ayew out, and and and. Semen now it's 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 so so unfortunate that they have these three players out at least i know that out of those three two would have been a big bonus for them if they had two of those three in the in their squad but like i said again we cannot help it hmm. the game must go on ghana must fill the 11 players and i'm sure that the 11 they will fill will give a good account of themselves and defend their flag hmm. uh, i know very soon before the game against uh, the Super Eagles of Nigeria in Kumasi, I'll put Kadi on the to tell us what he feels the scoreline will be. At least he has come out to, today to say that Nigeria Paris is the best job. I know, Ghana, I know our Ghanaian fans will want to come out for Kadi. Kadi said, but Kadi doesn't lie. He says the truth is a prophet. So please believe what he has said. So we wish uh, the Super Eagles of Nigeria and the Blasters of Ghana all the best as they both continue to prepare uh, for that game at the Babayara Stadium in Kumasi. Karade, once again, thank you for coming on the it's show. It's always a pleasure. So please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and please your comments, keep them coming. Remember that we are very close uh, to the game now. So watch out for uh, the Super Eagles of Nigeria. We'll be bringing you all the news, all the exclusives as you want it as the players begin to arrive camp for those uh, titanic clashes that will be coming up. Until next time, I say I remain Oluwafemi Achalu. Bye for now. <laughs>